Today on RC101, we're going to take a look at the brand new Esheen Flying Frog Q90 FPV racing drone. This is the Fly Sky Bind and Fly version. Now I know at first glance this may just look like your normal tiny little drone, but this is actually a full-fledged racing drone. Take a look at some of these stats there. You got a 200 milliwatt video transmitter. Two cell compatible brushed motors that use a 7.4 volt battery, 1000 TVL camera, should be pretty interesting. So let's take a look and dissect this little froggy. Now this is a little bit more like a QX90 FPV racing drone, except it's not using this cloverleaf antenna. This aircraft actually uses this 200 milliwatt video transmitter with just this standard little linear antenna here and it's got this tiny little 1000 TVL camera. Now this is the flight controller and the receiver that comes standard with this aircraft. It doesn't have a bind button or anything like that. You just basically power it on. This goes into bind mode. You hold the bind button on your transmitter. I had a few issues with this thing connecting and binding, but the major issue that I had with this aircraft was on my first flight, it was a bit wobbly and a bit crashy. And on my second flight, I figured out why. It's because this motor just died in the middle of the flight and it just dropped out of the sky. So I replaced this motor with another motor and then that motor lasted, oh, about a minute and a half and it started smoking. So I had to replace that one one more time. When I put a third motor in there and I plugged a battery in, that motor just started spinning and smoking. So yeah, I figured that either the solder joint was damaged or the flight controller was damaged. Something had to be done, so I basically just dissected my Fat B FB90 here, pulled everything out of this aircraft, and put it into the Flying Frog. So now he's got the FB90's flight controller, which it's one of these uh, flight controllers right here. It's actually got plugs on it. It's actually got a built-in receiver. Here's the receiver wire. It's a nicer receiver wire. I did accidentally break this off and uh, have to solder it back in place. But I did have to modify the camera mount just a little bit to be able to fit this camera in here. And of course I took the little glowing eyes and put them on the side of the camera there. And everything fits in here pretty decently. Just had to cut a little notch out of the back of the case so that the uh, battery wire would actually fit up in there. But after reinstalling all of these pieces, putting in a new flight controller, a new receiver, new camera, four new motors, um, basically a brand new aircraft, and uh, reprogramming the flight controller and the PID settings, he actually turns a lot faster now. He flies a lot faster. So the concept is a really nice concept, you know. Um, 7.4 volt battery powering 8520 cordless brushed motors. Um, it would be nice if they would have used the all-in-one flight controller and receiver with the plugs on it instead of this one that you have to solder in place. Um, and of course it would be nice with um, a better antenna on there and a you know, slightly better camera. I'm probably going to try to solder this 200 milliwatt transmitter back in and see if I get slightly better range because my range with this video camera wasn't too terribly good. but. That's the Flying Frog from Esheen, the brand new Q90. It's been a real pain in my butt. It's taken a lot of work just to get this thing flying and up in the air. But the concept is a sound one, you know, 7.4 volt powered brushed motors. So that's the Q90 Flying Frog from Esheen, other than having to replace all the electronics in it and other than having to modify the uh, case and the frame, and other than having to reprogram it, the concept itself is a good idea. 7.4 volt battery powering 8520 or even 1020 cordless brushed motors. You know, it's better to have an all-in-one flight controller and receiver, and I would like a better antenna and a video transmitter, but I can see the concept is a good one. Hopefully we'll see some more 7.4 volt, you know, brushed motor RC FPV racing drones. If you do pick up a flying frog, I don't know if you're going to have the same issues that I had, but I would definitely say it's worth reprogramming the PID settings to get your yaw rate to be faster and to get, you know, just the overall flight characteristics to be a little more smooth. So that's the brand new Esheen Flying Frog Q90. 
After a lot of work, it's a decent flying aircraft. The concept is a sound one. We appreciate you guys tuning in to RC101 with the Dallas Flyer today. As always, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and stay tuned for more.